Good day, my name is Frank Sturick. I work for Acmos Inc. As you know, Acmos Inc. manufactures mold releases for the composite industry. We make both the cleaner, the sealer, and the multi-pull release agent, as well as waxes and liquid waxes. What I'd like to demonstrate to you today is the use of the cleaner, R130-22, our sealer, 82-9101, and our release agent, 82-9062. They are some of the many products that we manufacture in the composite industry. This rag is soaked with the cleaner. We don't need to get it soaking wet, but just a little bit moist. And when you clean a mold, you want to start going in one direction, cleaning the mold in one direction, never, never in a circular motion like this. Because all you're doing there is moving the dirt around in a circle. By moving it in one direction, then turning the mold and go perpendicular to that initial direction that you cleaned, you're moving the dirt away from one area and then you can just wipe that area away on the end, edge of the mold. If need be, if the mold is extremely dirty, you could repeat this process two or three times until you get the mold perfectly clean, which you'll be able to see. Now after the mold is cleaned and you allow it to dry to have all the solvent from the cleaner evaporate, then you take our mold sealer, and this rag for demonstration purposes, would have some of the, our sealer, our 82-9101, and similar to the cleaning process, we would go in one direction, <coughs> putting a light coat of the mold sealer on the mold. You let that initial application dry on the mold for 10 to 15 minutes depending upon ambient temperatures. If the temperatures are below 70 or 80, you need to let it sit for maybe 25, 20 to 25 minutes. Over 80 degrees, 10 to 15 would be fine. <clears throat> After the first application, then you need to either turn the mold around or put the second application on, again, perpendicular to the, what the first application direction was. This again to be sure that you have complete coverage of the mold with the sealer. The sealer's function is to fill the micro porosity that you have on the mold surface, whether that mold is a fiberglass composite mold, a metal mold, or a glass mold. <clears throat> All those molds have micro porosity. The sealer fills in those micro porosity and add a layer of protection on the mold. After the final coat <clears throat> application of the sealer, it's wise to wait 25 to 30 minutes to make sure that final application has been cured and is ready for the application of the release. Now our release 82, <clears throat> excuse me, 9062 is a multi-pull fluoroelastomeric mold release, able to have multiple pulls depending upon what you're making. Again, <clears throat> the first application, you go in one direction, or if you have a very unique mold that has a lot of other indentations in it or angles, you need to be sure that you get the angles and the indentations covered with the release, maybe making special effort on those areas in corners and in angles. After the first application, should wait about 10 or 15 minutes, very similar as you did with the sealer. And then when you put your second application on, you try again to go perpendicular <coughs> to the application angle that you put the first application on. Again, this is to be sure you have full coverage on the mold of the mold release. 
If you do a third and fourth application, you always go perpendicular to the to the application you did just before. Again, this is just to be sure that you have a complete coverage. Now, our material is a wipe-on product. This means that you do not need to put very much on on any application. You do not want any puddling or super wet areas. If you do, you need to wipe that off. More is not better when it comes to these multiple pull release agents. If you put more too much on, you may see a hazing of the release agent. All you have to do in that case is to take a dry rag and buff that area out and then put another coat over it, much lighter. If you have any questions regarding ECMOS and our product line, please feel free to call our office in Baltimore at area code 410-296-5994. Thank you very much.